Okay, so I had started making this video and then I got stuck. Um, and so I needed to end the video and take my time and figure out how to do it. So I'm going back into it now. It was Project Lemonade. It's the final project of Unit 1. Um, and basically, um, it was easier than I thought once I actually worked through it. You really just need to follow the instructions. It scares you a little bit by saying that it's not going to be like other code labs and uh, it's not going to provide a step-by-step -step thing, but in actuality, it almost did provide like a step-by-step -step thing, like instructions. Um, I haven't done the test yet, so we'll do the test together in this video as I go. But I'll go through what I got. Um, so it says how it's going to come with the test, and you can test your code. And it says where the test will be. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing it has you do is go to GitHub and download the starter code. Um, and the starter code is really nice. It has all the image resources and everything already imported and drawables, and it has an icon already done for the app. All right. And then uh, after you download it and you get started, you've got to implement the logic, and that is where I got stuck. Building the interface was easy. It's actually already done for you in the starter code. All you have to do is set an image. Um, I didn't even set an image uh, just while I was in the design editor. Uh, so if you go to main activity KT, instead of actually setting an image, I just um, I just found common attributes SRC compact, but the tools one. And if you look at the code version of that, um, you click on this. Um, see, it's the tools namespace. So it just puts an image here while you're in the design view. But when you start the app, if you haven't written the code, the image doesn't show up. But basically, it just says, make sure your image looks like this. Um, and spend some time doing that. Um, so I did that. And then um, it asks you, after you get the layout completed, you go to implement the logic and make it interactive um, and basically everywhere in the starter code that you downloaded where it says to do something it also gives you like a set of instructions on what to do so i'll just go through this and show you what i did uh, for my logic and then we'll see if i did it right because uh, we'll do the uh, tests and see how they work but I ran my app and it did work, and then I got to do the testing. All right, so uh, there are three basic things you'll need to implement the excuse me to implement to get the Lemonade app working. Uh, you'll need to configure the Lemon image image view to respond to the user. You'll need to implement the Click Lemon image uh, function to update the app state. And you'll need to implement the set view elements to update the user interface based on the app's current state. Let's take a look at each one at a time. Step one, configure the image view. Tapping the image view should move the app from one state to another. At the end of the onCreate, notice that there are two listeners that need to be set. Set on click listener should update the app state. The method to do this is click lemon image state. So in that set on click listener, all I did was make a call to click lemon image function. All right. So when you first open your code, uh, if you haven't edited the code yet, it says not to change that stuff. The first spot where uh, there was a to do was right here in this set on click listener. Uh, for lemon image. So basically when they click on lemon image that you had this image here it says image lemon state and up top in main activity they set the image view to lemon image. All right. So they make a um, they make a variable a field variable that can be used throughout the whole um, 
document called lemon image. And then over here, lemon image, they set it to that view. So they do a find view by ID, resource.id, image lemon state. So that's where they set the lemon state um, resource ID to that variable that was declared up here. All right. And it's of type image view. Um, and they've set it to a null to start because uh, it's going to be changing throughout the state. So then the first thing I did was just set this function call in the click listener. And then the second thing you do is say, okay, if they're going to, if they click uh, for a long time on the lemon image, it's going to show snack bar. And snack bar was this method right here lemonade state show snack bar this just tells them how many clicks they have left before they're done squeezing the lemon uh, this was already written for you all right and then the next thing i did was to implement the click lemon image uh, function which i had to write all that code i believe click lemon image function so in this function in the starter code, there was a bunch of to-dos, but all the to-dos that were here are also on the instructions on the website. So we'll go through them one at a time, and I'll go over um, how I did that. So, I mean, the first step, it told you exactly what you need to do. It says, on this set on click listener, you need to you know, make a call to this. On this set on click listener, you need to make a call to that. So that's what I did. Um, and then on the implement click lemon image, after completing the previous step, the click lemon image method is now called each time the user taps the image. This method is responsible for moving the app from the current state to the next and updating any variables as needed. Uh, there are four possible states, select, squeeze, drink, and restart. The current state is represented by the lemonade state variable. This method needs to do something different for each state. Um, so in the select state, this is kind of like the instructions. And basically, in the code that was in the starter code that you downloaded, it had these same instructions, but just in a to-do in the method. So... Uh, we've got a transition to the squeeze state from the select state. So when lemonade state, when the state of lemonade state is select, we need to set the lemonade state to change to squeeze. We need to set the lemon size, the number of squeezes needed by calling the pick method. So lemon size is, uh, we need to call the pick method. And then the other thing we need to do is set the squeeze count to zero. All right. So in the code, uh, to transition, you just set the lemonade state to the next state. To set the squeeze count to zero, just like they said in the directions. Now, lemon size, um, it said we needed to call the pick function to set the lemon size. It says to set the lemon size, we need to call the pick function. Um, pick is not, we couldn't just say lemon size dot pick to call the pick function because pick is part of the function. Um, pick is a method of the function lemon tree. Um, and lemon tree is a private function, I believe. Yeah, no, show snark bar lemon tree. No, it's not private, but it's just, it can't be called directly because it's part of lemon tree. So we have to we have to set it equal to lemon tree dot pick to get lemon size. And the reason that lemon size will will directly give us the value for lemon size is because when we call lemon tree dot pick, pick returns a randomly generated number. Yeah, returns a randomly generated number from two to four, you know, no less than two and no greater than four. So a random number between the range of two and four will be returned 
and get stored into the variable that we put in here, which is lemon size. And lemon size was another variable that they created. Lemon size. It's one of the field variables, lemon size. Okay. All right. So that is how I did the first one. The second one, uh, so basically after you click the tree, it'll move to the next state, the squeeze state. And, um, and then it says in the directions and the squeeze state, we need to increment the squeeze count by one and decrement the lemon size by one. Remember that the lemon will require a variable number of squeezes before the app can dress in that state transition to the drink state only if the lemon size is equal to zero. So there was a couple things that I had to do in this portion of the WEMPS when um, conditional lemonade state. Um, so it, as it said, decrement the lemon size and increment the squeeze count. And then it said if lemon size is equal to zero, then change the state to drink. So that's exactly how I wrote it in code, basically exactly how they said it in the uh, thing. Um, and that worked just fine. When we're in the drink state, it says basically to set the lemon size back to negative one because we don't need it anymore. And when it's clicked in the drink state, we're going to switch it to the restart state. And then when we're in the restart state, um, we're going to set the lemonade state to select. Um, and then it just starts over again. So that is how I set up the quick lemon lemon function. And then um, it says once you've handled the transition between states, be sure to call set view elements. So I did that too. Um, set view elements right there. All right, and then and then for the setup view elements. I basically just copied this conditional statement that I made for the click lemon image, and then I brought it down to the bottom, um, and I, you know, edited it to update the.